The following program is being brought to you on the Voice America Women's Channel. For more information about our network and to check out additional show hosts and topics of interest, please visit voiceamericawomen.com. The Voice America Talk Radio Network is the worldwide leader in live Internet talk radio. Visit voiceamerica.com. The views and ideas expressed on the following program are strictly those of the host or guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and ideas held by the Voice America Talk Radio Network, its staff and management. Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome back, everybody. Excited to have you joining us again here in October. For those of you first-timers, welcome to the show. Very excited to be connecting with you today. We are committed and passionate about helping you live an empowered life on purpose and with purpose. And today, we're going to be focused on overcoming stress, kind of no matter what. And this type of time of the year, things can get a little hectic and we can feel pulled a lot of different ways. How do we overcome stress and challenges and really step into our power and potential? How do we do that? Today, we have some great experts that are going to be helping us do that and be able to do it in a joyful, playful way. And it's kind of perfect what's going on behind the scenes. You may actually hear this in the background. There is some construction (laughs) going on that I have actually tried to get them to not do the construction while the show is going on but unfortunately that is not the schedule and not what they're able to do so real time we get to come together no matter what and pause and breathe and really be who we want to be no matter what even when construction's going on even when those unexpected challenges come up we still get to choose who we're going to be and how we're going to be in that so we get to kind of do this real time together very excited to have you connecting in from around the world as we lean in and discover together explore together how to overcome stress and challenges and still choose to be present to pause to be who we choose to be who we want to be no matter what even when those unexpected things come along or those stresses or those challenges we still have the opportunity to smile We have the opportunity to still be present, to persevere, to find joy in the experience. We have these opportunities to really tap into our power and our potential, even when stress and talent challenges and unexpected things come up. So today, I'm going to invite you to lean in, pause, and breathe as we think about these things, as we think about Have we been really stepping into our potential or have we been letting the busyness of life, circumstances around us, stop us? Perhaps have us get a little distracted. Perhaps stop moving forward in the areas that matter to us, in the areas that we want to move forward in in the areas that are important to us because part of unmasking our potential part of really stepping into our power is it's not dependent on circumstances around us it's not dependent on even expectations others may have around us or that we have of ourselves we get to choose how we want to be in each of those circumstances So I even wrestled with, do I do this show live or 
Or do we replay another show and record another time? And I just thought, no, this is kind of perfect. This is real life. We have these challenges. We have these things that that come up where um, they're going to impact what we're doing. And I can choose to still be here and be present with each of you connected heart to heart even when there's noise going on even when there's construction going on we still can be connected heart to heart soul to soul spirit to spirit by intentionally connecting in and I believe there's something here for us today together in this So whatever is going on in your life, whatever challenges, whatever construction (laughs) is happening in your life, you still have an opportunity to breathe, to pause, to bring peace and stillness into yourself and into how you are choosing to show up in the world. Those of you who are driving, I'm going to invite you to stay safe, both hands on the wheels, no texting and driving. Those of you who are able to, though, I invite you to put both feet on the floor. Take a deep breath. Really feel that floor supporting you. Put one hand on your heart, one hand on your head, bringing all of you in, mind, body, soul, and spirit. And I encourage you to take a deep breath through your nose. See how big you can make your belly. Breathe right into the belly. Bigger yet. Beautiful. And then breathe out through your mouth like through a straw. Close your eyes. You're absolutely safe. And in this space, in this stillness, what is it that you need today? What is it that will encourage you, that will empower you, will help you step forward in your potential, that will help you stand in your power, regardless of circumstances? What is it you need to equip and empower you To unmask your potential. October is a great time of year to be thinking about this. To really step forward in your potential. In your purpose. What is it that you need? And I'm going to add on to that. Are willing to receive. What is it that you need? And are willing to receive. See if that answer, that shifts the need a little bit. Because we have choice in that. We need to be willing to receive whatever it is that we need. Beautiful. So I invite you to take a breath again. Keep breathing that way. That actually lowers your cortisol levels, your stress levels. It brings you very present. Beautiful. Go ahead and open up your eyes. Come back into the room. And I invite you to write down whatever was laid on your heart, whatever it is that you need and are willing to receive. I want you to keep it top of mind. Be looking for that leaning in with anticipation or whatever it is that you need that you're willing to receive and open to whatever form it may come in. But I want you actively on the lookout so that when the thing Whatever it is that you need is there. You'll see it and recognize it in front of you. You'll be have it top of mind and be ready to receive it into your life. Beautiful. With that, I'm going to go around our virtual room here and just see what was laid on our respective hearts. So, Catherine, I'd love for you to share something that was laid on your heart when we took a moment to pause, breathe, connect, and listen. Well, first, thank you for having me on your show. I'm so excited. And Mm. that excitement got me a little bit anxious. Mm. So we will be talking about the anxiety, but I was already breathing before we started talking, and just listening to your voice helped calm me down and level the anxiety down almost to the bottom. Mm. 
beautiful. Well, we welcome you. Absolutely. We're excited to have you joining us today and welcome your excitement. And I'm so glad that anxiety is dropping down. So beautiful. Yeah. Glad to have you, you connecting. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're very welcome. And I love that you're excited and leaning into today's conversation. Thank you. Absolutely. And Carrie, how about you? What was laid upon your heart? Well, you were talking about the construction going on and how disruptive Mm -hmm. or chaotic that can be in the background. And I'm actually a big fan of chaos. (laughs) Um, So what came to me was, well, we get to dance (laughs) through the chaos Mm -hmm. because chaos is actually the birthplace of creativity. Mm. So I'm kind of, well, fortunately, I don't have it going on in my ear, so I don't have to live with it, but I'm kind of excited that it's a little bit chaotic. (laughs) <laughs> well, I embrace that then it's it's perfect. And I'm noticing that some of the construction is quieted down. So it looks like we're going to have a range of experience today. So we've had some of that, that chaos or, or uh, a little bit chaotic and, and peace as well. So I, I welcome both. And I love that that excites you. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> so we'll have creativity coming forth today as well. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. And what really was in my heart as as this was going on was really, um, it, it's kind of a mixture. There was a, you know, making a decision and a choice with the construction going on because I want to make sure that we're able to connect and be heard and, and have this, this time together. And then it also made me very determined <laughs> to have this time oh. and space together and um, a commitment to bringing that forth. And then what's been kind of cool about it being mirrored outside of us is there's that there was that rise of noise and now there's kind of this this piece and it's a little bit quieter and I think we have that ebb and flow in our life and we're getting to experience that real time together so it just was observing that and really appreciating the opportunity to connect with each of you heart to heart no matter what is going on around us that we can make that choice and come together in a meaningful way and I love your perspective you know Carrie that you you like a little bit of that chaos and creativity can come from that and Catherine the excitement and then um, feeling into letting that you know anxiety ease a bit so that we can be very present and listeners I want you to think about what's going on in your life is there something that's creating chaos and a bit of anxiety and how are you choosing to show up in that are you looking forward to what can be created in that where are you in this and what is it that you need so that you can be who you want to be and how you want to be as we step forward in the world. So as we go to our first commercial break, I want to give you the inside scoop here. These two-minute commercial breaks are actually, in reality, two minutes just for you. This is a time for you to be fully present, to really process what is being spoken into your heart and spirit on a cellular level. I invite you to resist the urge to go and run off and cross things off your to-do list and instead be very present and allow what is being spoken into you and to you to be processed, to become part of you. Let it integrate within you on a cellular level. This way you're not adding things to do your to-do list. You're actually processing real time and it's becoming part of you. So as you go back out into the world, you're doing it in a more powerful, purposeful, potential-filled way. And with that, I invite you to enjoy these next two moments, these next two minutes just for you. And we'll look forward to talking to you and continuing our conversation with our amazing experts when we come back. Voice America Women, your passion starts here. Tune in to the Just Jan TV Show at JustJanTVShow.com. Visionary women's leader Jan Jorgensen is inspiring, practical, and visionary. Jan brings us everyday, transformational, emerging leaders, courageously changing the world by speaking and living their truth. 
Sit around the table with us for profound feminine wisdom, insights, and connection. Be sure to join us at JustJanTVShow.com. New episodes are every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time at JustJanTVShow.com. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. For women, the pressure to achieve is stronger, the work hours longer, and the struggle for respect and authority more complex than ever. You want guidance on how to succeed, and you are not alone. You're invited to take your coffee break with Game Changers on Tuesdays at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern for our special series, Game Changing Women. Powerful women leaders will help you make sense of it all, analyze how you can change the game, and share their playbooks. Game Changing Women, presented by SAP on the Business Channel. Become our friend on Facebook. Post your thoughts about our shows and network on our timeline. Visit Facebook.com forward slash Voice America. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you had um, a powerful two minutes, that you enjoyed that time of listening, pausing, breathing, and connecting. We can get so hectic and busy in our lives that we can forget to do that. And a day passes by and another day passes by, and it can start to be a bit of a blur. So deliberately building in times where we pause, breathe, and listen, especially when there's a bit of chaos going on or unexpected things will serve you powerfully. So I invite you to build those muscles throughout our show. We'll give you multiple times to do that. Well, I wanted to have a deeper conversation with our amazing guests. And we're going to start with with Catherine. And Catherine and I have known each other for a while. We've had the opportunity to work on several different projects together. And I appreciate her passion and her willingness to really make a difference like she's just willing to share and step into new spaces to make a difference for others and I really appreciate that about her she is a best-selling author and and get this nine books over nine times best-selling author so um, definitely making a big impact in that way she's a radio show host of spiritual destination and destinations and we're excited to have her on our RHG um, TV network and bringing her her beautiful show forward there and she is a mental illness advocate a speaker and a turquoise angel guide and she's absolutely passionate about helping you feel invigorated and empowered especially when going through challenges. Please lean in and warmly welcome the amazing Catherine Love to the show. Welcome. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here, like I said earlier, and to share everything that you just discussed. (laughs) Beautiful. Then we are in alignment. I love that. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) 
welcome. I'm, I'm excited as well to, to have you here. And I appreciate the work that you're doing out in the world and your willingness to serve. And I'd love to hear from your heart and your perspective and why this work of helping people in this way, why is that personally so important to you? Because I come up from a place of authenticity where I'm not afraid to share my story and let people know I've been there too. And because I've been there, I can help you get there too. And I want you to accomplish your goals in life and business and just shine your light through the world. Mm, I love that. And that willingness to just be approachable and, and let people and walk beside people, and let them know they're not alone. It's really, really important, um, valuable work. And I know that you've participated in a couple of our books and, and we're just really honored to have you in that. And you're one of our amazing number one best-selling authors in Bloom Where You're Planted and Shine that we released in September. And in the forthcoming book, actually both of our guests today are part of our um, our forthcoming book, which is really, really exciting as well. So I wanted to have you share a little bit about your radio show because I mentioned that earlier. And I'd love for you to share what your show is about and what you're hoping listeners will receive by um, participating and listening to your show. Okay. So I was introduced to me in December of 2016. Would I like to be a show host for spiritual destinations? And I jumped at it because I'm spiritual. And as I gave thought to it, I said, you know what? I don't have to confine it to spirituality because of my own history. My history is a healing journey, and that's through my spirituality. So what I do is interview anybody that can help others in the world. And that's Mm. powerful because once I start talking to my guests, I get them to open up where they didn't expect to open up, and they become real to the audience. And the audience will learn different modalities of healing, some modalities Mm. of business skills, and it's just so empowering because they're listening to real people, just like you and I speaking right now. And I just love sharing people's stories and advertising them to the world. Exactly. I I love this because I think one of the most powerful legacies or impact that we can have in the world is willing, being willing to share our lives, being willing to share like truly how we think about things, what our gifts are, what our quirks are. Those are things that when we're willing to share the whole journey, not just the shiny parts (laughs) of our life with others, it can make a really big impact. And so I love that your show creates a space for that and allows people to go there and to share that um, with your listeners as well. So thank you for for bringing your show forth and sharing it out with the world. And I know also you have multiple books (laughs) that I I Mm -hmm. mentioned earlier that you've been part of. And I wanted to see it with, you know, as we think about all those books, nine different books and and more that are coming. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Is there something on your heart, like a consistent piece or a reason that you are in those books and some of what if readers were wanting and our listeners who are readers are wanting to uh, tap into some of those books and resources, what would you like to share with them about what they can find in those books? And I believe they're all on Amazon. Is that correct? Yes, they all are, yes. Okay, okay. So what is on your heart when when you're looking at your library you've created of multiple books? Are there a couple that are jumping to your heart and mind that you want to let our listeners know about that they could um, lean into? Okay, well, I took all the stories and all of those books and created my own book, which is Journey of Angelic Healing, Stories Mm. to Feed Your Soul. And that's what it is. It's my own journey of healing and how the spirituality helped me get through so many difficult things. I had my mind and body fighting against each other. Mm. And I don't want to say this to scare people because everybody says, but the answer to one of my prayers to feeling better was four days later after a prayer, 
I attempted suicide. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people gasped, but I don't want any gasping because it was the answer and it was the journey that began to share my story and let people know you can get through it and you don't have to get to that point. And the biggest thing is we all hear you need to put the oxygen mask on first, but we don't do it until we come to a critical situation like that. So that's my biggest message is take care of yourself. And I've been doing that um, since last night because I was away at a conference for four days plus traveling, and I was just wiped out. So last night I slept for 12 hours, and I just took it easy today before this call. So that's my message. Take care of yourself and follow my footsteps and know how much I'm being inspired by my words and heal yourself and feel better about your journey. Beautiful. And and I like to emphasize with this, you're creating a way that it does not have to be a solo journey, that they can actually get support and, along the way. And the collection of books helps them in all different types of ways. I know a number of them are anthologies with multiple authors. And then I love that you've combined your pieces into a book. So people who are wanting more of Catherine can get and her journey and her support along the way can get this book that has all of her um, powerful journey and story in one place. So definitely encourage you to lean into that. Do you mind sharing the title one more time? Journey of Angelic Healing, Stories to Feed Your Soul. Perfect. And you will find that on Absolutely. You'll absolutely you'll find that on Amazon. And then we have more. Catherine has also put together a valuable gift to support you on your journey. And so this is a free gift from her heart to yours that she wanted to make available to support you on your journey. So Catherine, would you mind sharing a little bit about your gift? Yes, so this is a little bit of a, a tip list of five tools to overcome stress. So you can learn five ways to de-stress, like I did before the show, um, by one thing, positive thinking. So when you think positive instead of accepting, oh, no, this is going so bad for me, instead of saying that, say, oh, I learned this from my journey. And by doing that, even though you don't believe it, it makes it come true. A biggest one would be anyone that believes in God or source or whatever your power being, you can ask for the guidance and support. Me, I ask God and my angels. And all you have to do is think silently and say, okay, please be with me and please help me through my stress situation. And it really does help. Another way Beautiful. is affirmation. And actually, I'm going to I'm gonna transition here because we do have our, our commercial break coming up. Um, okay. But, yeah, thank you for sharing some of those tips and know that she has a few more that are in her powerful gift that she's making available to each of you. As we go into our two-minute moment, so our commercial break, these are two minutes just for you. I want you to think about that. Um, Are there stresses? Are there things that are raising that anxiety level? And would it serve you to have a tool to really support you in reducing stress and becoming very present? And I'd like to give you some direction during these two minutes for you to pause and breathe. And if you're finding, yes, I I really would like support in that, I want to let you know where to find it. You can go to our radio gift page, which is Radio Gifts with an S, because there's multiple gifts, radiogifts.net. You put in your name and email address so we can stay in touch. And then you will scroll down to today's date, which is October 17th. That's when we're um, producing the show live. And you will find Catherine's beautiful gift. So again, that is radio gifts with an S dot net, a net of multiple gifts. And we will look forward to talking to you in just a moment.
This is the Voice America Women's Channel, where your success is limitless. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Relationship issues? Anxious? Parenting challenges? No more. Learn to live your best life. Tune into Straight Talk with top therapist, relationship, and anxiety expert, Sandra Reich. Learn to transform your challenges into effective solutions. Whether it's relationships, parenting, anxiety, or other traps, Sandra will show you how you can live the life of your dreams. Listen live every Thursday afternoon at 6 p.m. Eastern Time and 3 p.m. Pacific Time on the Voice America Health and Wellness Channel. Have you had a chance to check out Voice America's online magazine and blog, Press Pass? If you love our hosts and shows, check out articles that give an even deeper perspective. Plus topics about health and fitness, movie reviews, philosophy, business tips and tactics, spirituality, positive thought, current events, and even more about your favorite host. It's just a click away at VAPressPass.com. That's VAPressPass.com. VA Press Pass by Voice America. All access, all the time. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Follow us on Twitter at VoiceAmericaTRN. Get the lowdown on guests, new shows, and your favorites. That's VoiceAmericaTRN. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed those two minutes and had the opportunity to check out our radio gift page. And you may have noticed there was a beautiful gift there from Carrie as well. We'll be talking about that in a little bit. But I'd love to have you focus back in. Let's take a breath as we connect back in heart to heart. And I'd love to share a little bit about our next guest. And Carrie, I have known, we've known each other for a number of years, Carrie. And I always associate sparkle and bubbles and stickers (laughs) and joy with you. And I know frequently you'll wear little sparkles and and shimmer, always just a little bit, something to to brighten I, I don't know if it's to brighten your day, but I know it brightens others' days, and, and I assume it brightens your day as well. <laughs> so I love that about you. And you describe yourself as a creative, intuitive, and sparkly, and um, intuitive explorer, like out there on a journey. And I love that. I feel like you're also a teacher with a playful and powerful energy and an expert in really helping women step forward that you're passionate about helping women step forward boldly and in a powerful way bravely and with great joy so please lean in and warmly welcome the amazing carrie hargraves to the show welcome yay yay i feel like i should do applause (laughs) i'm so delighted to be here rebecca thank you for having me you are very welcome. I'm excited to have you. Imagine applause and a sprinkle of sparkles and bubbles. <laughs> That's what I feel. Accompanies. Always bubbles and sparkles. That's right. Accompanies your or intro, glitter. So. 
That's right. We need more glitter in the world. I love it. (laughs) Well, I'd love for you to share a little bit about why. Why is this work that you're doing and really bringing more sparkle and shine and bubbles and joy to the world and helping women embrace that and step forward powerfully? Why is that personally so important to you? Well, I spent an awful lot of years doing not a very good job of trying to conform to societal norms, uh, doing corporate work and all of that um, very serious grown-up adult stuff that we are told we're supposed to do. (laughs) And um, I had an epiphany one day that life can be an awful lot more fun. It isn't as serious as we think. And actually, the older we get, the less serious it has to be. And since I have um, reached that age where, frankly, I don't have to care as much, um, I've embraced it and realized I wish I had embraced it 30 or 40 or 50 years earlier. So I'm trying to carry the message to women of my age, older and much younger, that life is too short to be serious. Mm. I love that. There can be a lot of joy and play on the journey. Ah, love it. Love it. Beautiful. Now, you shared a little bit about this, and I just wanted to give you an opportunity to expand on it if you would like, because you shared that you had this epiphany that it could be a lot more fun than it had been along the way. Um, But is there something in addition to that or another level of sharing you would like to bring forward today about some of what you've learned as you've gotten older? You shared that you've gotten to an age where you're not caring quite as much about what others are thinking about you and really choosing how you want to be in the world. I'd love to give you room to expand on that a little bit. Okay. Well, I've um, I've learned that it um, it takes it takes courage to be visible, to be playful, because people will see you. Mm-hmm. Uh, because now you're not acting like everybody else. You've become I call it a parrot among the pigeons. Mm. You stand out, and when you stand out. You're worried you're going to be judged, but you're being judged anyway, so you might as well be judged for fabulous, right? (laughs) Uh, If anybody's thinking about you at all, which is rarer than we think, um, (laughs) might as well make them think about you for the colorful, fabulous things you're doing. Yes. Uh, It's an inspiration. I've also learned that the nag, that little voice, she needs to be fired. She won't stay that (laughs) way, but you have to keep firing her because... That's somebody else's stuff. That's not yours. All those voices mm-hmm. come from way back. Mm. Um, I, I I love that. So we're firing the nag, that that, the negative, nag. that negative voice. And if yeah, you yeah. know we're going to be judged anyway, let's let's be judged for something fabulous that we're doing that we That's love. Right. I love that. We'll stand out in that way. Beautiful. <laughs> let's all be. Now, what did you call it? Instead of pigeons, we're being. What did you call us? Instead of being uh, a pigeon. Parrots among the pigeons. Yeah, that's right. So we're all going to be parrots. <laughs> I love that. Beautiful, beautiful. Sharing out what we care about, fluffing our feathers and standing in our, our brilliance. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, part of the work that you do, I know, is to help people rediscover some of their childhood dreams. And you call it delights and interests and things that plans they had in those younger years, why is that important for us to tap into again and look at and appreciate and discover again? That's my firm belief that buried back in those early childhood memories, back before uh, school trained us to sit down, shut up, and pay attention, um, are our real interests, our real um, passions, the things that got we got talked out of, Get back to those, find them, and uh, play with them again. Uh, It's like, I wanted to play a musical instrument. God only knows why at age seven I decided it had to be an accordion. (laughs) But um, I did. I was no good at it, and anything I was no good at, um, I was told I couldn't do. So Mm. I was made to give up the accordion, so I gave up musical instruments altogether. And I might not have been any good at it, but I was having fun with it. Mm -hmm. And we do that with a lot of things. Um, I lost a lot of my art as a child. Um, Most people do have things back in their childhood 
that they gave up because they either had no time or were told that they weren't going to be any good at it or even worse, told they couldn't make money at it. Mm. And it's time to go back and find those things and bring them back into your life. You may find you don't like them anymore, but oh my God, there could be things back there that are absolutely keys to your soul's delight. Mm. I love that. And giving ourselves full permission. So anyone who's been waiting for that, you got it today, (laughs) that full permission to go back and explore and discover and see what gives you delight and joy and um, how you can bring that into your life again um, in in creative and fun and, of course, sparkly ways. (laughs) So I invite you to do that. And and one of the keys to that is Mm -hmm. don't judge yourself on your competence. It's not mastery. It's the experience. Yes. Important, important reminder. Allowing ourselves the experience of it without judgment. Beautiful, beautiful. And I know you have also prepared an amazing gift for us. I wanted to give you an opportunity to share a little bit about it with our listeners today. Well, I pulled together a little ebook. It's called, I can't even say it, 10 Quick and Quirky Activities to Boost Your Energy and Jumpstart Your Creativity, which is a big whole mouthful. But it's 10 quick, easy, no cost things you can do when you're bored or stuck or aggravated that will refresh your mind and body and get you back to what you're trying to do with more re- no more enthusiasm, more productivity. You just open the book to any one of the activities, take two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, do them, and then go back to work. Um, it's guaranteed, guaranteed to um, reduce your stress and find the fun. Like I said, increase your productivity boost your creativity. Wonderful. I, I I love it. So I love also how you're taking away any excuse that we can have about time or money. These are free things that you can do. So you can cross that concern about investment off the list and a range of times. If you have just a little bit of time or you have a little bit more time, there's something that can meet you real time right now to support you in that. So thank you for making that available to us. And I can't wait to see it get out in the world more and see the creativity and joy and sparkle that it creates in many, many lives. (laughs) Listeners, as you get ready to go into our next two-minute moment, I want you to think about two things. One, I want you to think about what is something you remember wanting to be when you were young or you were passionate about like the accordion or um, building something or, or creating something or being something. You know, what are some of those things? And just take you know, 30 seconds and write, write some of those down and just look at them and see how can, I, how can I explore that a little bit now. And then two, I want you to think about is having this guide, this ebook, something that could support you that you can lean into having these tips when you're feeling the days a little bit heavy or dragging on or a bit stressful that you could tap into to shift the energy a bit perhaps create a little of that creative chaos that I know you are fond of Carrie (laughs) and bring a little bit of um, sparkle and life and energy into your life so as we go into this next commercial break I'm going to invite you to just take a moment and think about some of those things and jot down some of those things you used to love or wanted to be someday or or more passionate and really enjoy doing let's bring that back into your life and for those of you that are wanting her amazing gift I want to let you know where to find it it's at that same gift page we shared before with uh, Catherine's gift radio gifts with an s dot net so radio gifts dot net a net full of multiple gifts you put in your name and email address so we can stay in touch and then scroll down to today's date october 17th and you'll be able to lean into that amazing gift and with that i'm going to give you those these next two minutes and we'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment The Voice America Women's Channel. 
Tune in to the Just Jan TV Show at JustJanTVShow.com. Visionary women's leader Jan Jorgensen is inspiring, practical, and visionary. Jan brings us everyday transformational emerging leaders, courageously changing the world by speaking and living their truth. Sit around the table with us for profound feminine wisdom, insights, and connection. Be sure to join us at JustJanTVShow.com. New episodes are every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time at JustJanTVShow.com. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. The Voice America Women's Channel. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed those two minutes <laughs> that you um, enjoyed going back in time a little bit and thinking about what was it that I used to want to do or, or be or create or or play with or, or bring to the world. And you're able to tap into some of that joy and that energy and explore how can you bring that to the present And we shared two amazing interviews where you learned more about stepping through stress and stepping into your power and that you're not alone and you can have a lot more fun and joy in your life than sometimes we allow ourselves to have and to be. And I think that is really key to lowering our stress levels, to really stepping into our power and our potential is letting others walk beside us. And remembering to allow that creative joy and exploration and sparkle into our life. So I hope that you've gotten some great tips and ideas on ways to do that and have leaned into these powerful gifts that are amazing guests have shared with us today. And I just want to remind you of that link one more time. It's radio gifts with an S dot net. Again, that's radio gifts dot net and to lean into those gifts and you'll see a couple there from me as well. And as I'm kind of reflecting back on our show today, there are a couple of things that uh, dropped into my heart and spirit that I wanted to, to let you know about. One of them is we actually have a book coming out that both of our guest experts are featured in, which is called The Grandmother Legacies. And these chapters that people have put together, they're really bringing forth their legacy stories, and it's called The Grandmother Legacies. And... We have a multi-generation approach, so granddaughters sharing legacies, grandmothers, wisdom, tips, joy, and creativity gifts that have been passed on to them, and they are bringing forth in the world. We have grandmothers declaring their legacy, sharing it, and what they're bringing forth. Mothers sharing something their mother shared with them that they are now bringing into the lives of others, and at the end of every chapter, they share some tips or pieces of advice or wisdom that they can pass on from my grandmother, heart and perspective to your heart. And as we were 
sharing today, I wanted to re- let you know that book's coming. I've been working on the forward this morning, and it's really present in my heart. And as Catherine was sharing and Carrie was sharing, I just thought these are, they're sharing their legacy right now with us and what they're wanting to bring to the world. And each of us has that opportunity to create a legacy to choose what matters to us, to bring that forth. And I hope as you go back out to the world, you're thinking about who you want to be, how you want to be, and the imprint that you're wanting to create in the world, that you're wanting to bring forward that uniqueness of you. And some of what we've talked about today, I feel like will help you tap into that. And I hope inspire you to step forward in that. Our book will be released on December 5th, so it's actually going to be on one of our show days, so we're very excited excited about that. And if you're wanting support in the journey and you're wanting that richness of legacies pouring into you, I encourage you to mark that on your calendar. We're going to have a super hot special that day that you can lean into and, and get that book as we launch it and bring it to the world. And as we're looking at stepping into our potentials, we're looking at going back out into the world. I asked my guests if they had one more piece of advice that they wanted to share with you, like 30 seconds or less. Here's the thing they want to remind you or they want you to be able to take forth with you as you go back out into the world. So, Catherine, what is that you want to remind our listeners of today or share with them? I want you to remember to reach out if you need support when you aren't feeling well. And remember, you are not alone. Underlined explanation point. You are not alone. And to it's okay to reach out and let others walk beside you. Beautiful, beautiful reminder. Thank you. Carrie, how about you? Absolutely. I want to tell everybody, don't put your life off and expect to be able to buy it back later. Mm. Act now. Obey the whim. Take a chance. When you're faced with a choice, make the playful choice, the odd choice, the new choice. Because there's no guarantee there's going to be a later. So live now. Underline explanation point. We can't buy it back later. What a powerful reminder. Thank you for, for sharing that. Listeners, what is that thing that is going to stretch you a little bit? It's a way that you can impact and touch another life in an unexpected way. Or it stretches you a little bit that you're going to, I love Carrie, what you shared earlier that, you know, people are going to judge us and we're going to be seen anyway. May as well do be seen doing something we love and let's choose how we're going to stand out and have it be something that we think makes us sparkle. (laughs) So I love that. (laughs) sharing that with the world. Um, So listeners, as we are looking at bringing that joy in, of overcoming stress, of working through those chaotic things that can happen with our life, the busyness that can happen in the season and in our lives in unexpected ways, I want to encourage you to choose to pause, to breathe. And look around and choose the sparkly option. Choose that thing that's just a little bit different and that's a little more you. Not what others maybe expect you to be or you expect yourself to be, but really is truly you that that makes your heart sing and be willing to bring that forward. Be willing to, to share that and to shine that out in the world. Let people experience that part of you. That is key to stepping into your potential, into your power, and really sharing the gift of you with the world. Because I believe what the world needs is just a little bit more of you. So wherever you go, whatever you do, may you always, always be willing, may you always choose to bloom where you are planted and shine. Have an amazing week, everyone, and I look forward to talking to you next time. Bye. Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. 
Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Women's Channel. And join us for a replay of the show every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine. <laughs>